promise that you'll never find another like me, Kiki. Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to transform into Taylor Swift. So to start off, apply a pale foundation all over your skin. Next, apply a lighter full coverage concealer under your eyes leading up to your temple to begin making your eyes appear sleek. Then set your face using a fine translucent powder. To begin sculpting the face, apply a pearly highlighter to the very tops of your cheekbones. Then apply a blush with a heavy hand on your cheekbone. Be sure not to get it in the center of your face, but rather from this point on. Next apply contour over that exact same spot since she sometimes mixes the two like this in most of her makeup looks. Chisel out your cheekbones and define your jawline by applying light concealer in that area. One of our most prominent features are her high cheekbones, so the more you can define that, the better. Next, lightly apply a pearly highlighter to the very center of your face to bring this area forward and complete the high cheekbone illusion. For the eyebrows, we are going to do an easier alternative to gluing them down. First, brush in a pale concealer into your brows to mute and lighten the color. Then go in with a warm brown eyebrow powder and fill them into a high arch. To define the arch, use a concealer to sculpt out the shape and blend it in. Then apply highlighter to your brow bone to complete the look. Moving on to the eyes, she often sports a warm gold toned look, so first apply a warm brown eyeshadow to the crease into a cat eye shape. Then heavily apply a shimmery gold to the eyelids. Now I just realized I forgot to apply my blue contact, so here we are. Now that the look is coming together, I'm bringing the front of the eyebrow down further to enhance the arch. Back to the eyes, carve out your eyeshadow using concealer and blend it up to your temple to begin making your eyes look sleek like Taylor's. Next, use a black liquid eyeliner and apply a very high, thick wing that tapers down thinner and thinner the closer you get to the center of your eye so it looks like this. This is really going to give you that similar eye shape. Then apply a pair of wispy natural false lashes. Next, apply highlighter to your inner corners. This is something she often does to brighten her blue eyes. 
Now if you have big eyes like me, apply brown eyeliner to your waterline to make them appear smaller and more cat-like. Then apply a very light coat of mascara to your bottom lashes. Definitely don't overdo the mascara or you will cancel out the effect of the eyeliner and make your eyes appear big again. Moving on to the lips, start by drawing the lip shape using a nude lip liner. Be sure your bottom lip is bigger and that your top lip has a very defined cupid's bow. Then you want to apply a nice bright red lipstick on top of that. And I highly recommend using a liquid matte lipstick as normal lipstick is shiny and can expose the fact you change your lip shape. Lastly, moving on to the nose, contour from the tip of your eyebrow and go straight down. Then apply concealer in the center to help the illusion. Next, top the concealer of your nose with a highlighter and apply contour under your nose and you're done! So here is me before and here is me after. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so I can see you in my next one.